This video will demonstrate a complete workflow for managing your JFrog platform services all the way to creating and securely distributing release bundles to target destinations. All part of the JFrog platform solution. Okay, we'll start from the JFrog platform deployment, also known as a JPD, which defines a single logical unit shared by all JFrog products. It must consist of one JFrog Artifactory service, standalone or HA, and optional additional external services such as mission control, distribution, X-ray, and pipelines. Here we can see a distributed environment that includes one main site representing a source artifactory, and three edge nodes representing the target artifactory instances, which are the production sites. Let's take a peek into our source artifactory instance. Here we can see our release, from which we would like to create a release bundle and distribute to our edge nodes. It will contain a full Docker image, including the manifest JSON in all Docker layers, and its corresponding Helm chart bundled into one unit. Now we can move to JFrog Distribution, where we'll actually create and manage our release bundle. A release bundle defines a secure and immutable collection of artifacts that are packaged together. It groups together the contents that are part of your release, providing the bill of material for your software releases. Here we can create a new draft release bundle that can be edited, signed, and then finally distributed. A signed release bundle ensures that its contents and their metadata are credible and untampered. For our release bundle, we'll give it a name, a version, and a description. To add artifacts to the release bundle, we can either use an Artifactory Query Language Query, or use the Selection Wizard that can help us define the assets that will be included in the release bundle Bill of Materials. The release bundle can include multiple queries, AQL stands for Artifactory Query Language, and it is especially designed to let you uncover any data related to the artifacts and builds stored within Artifactory. Its syntax offers a simple way to formulate complex queries that specify any number of search criteria, filters, sorting options, and output parameters. In our AQL, we're selecting the artifacts by the repository and the path. For more information about AQL, please see the JFrog documentation. We can see the results of our AQL query in the Preview Artifacts screen. This way we can check if our selection criteria is correct. For the most commonly used selection scenario, such as names patterns, JFrog distribution also offers a simplified way of creating AQL queries. You can simply fill in the parameters, including name, repository, and file name patterns, and the appropriate AQL query will be created automatically. And now we can validate the results using the preview artifacts window. Once we completed building the selection criteria for the release bundle version, clicking on the create button will create a release bundle with all the metadata. In the Release Bundle Version Properties page, we can see the metadata of all artifacts included, our Docker image, and our Helm chart. To scan your Release Bundle by JFrog X-Ray, it first must be declared as an index resource. Then X-Ray will automatically perform security and license scan of the artifacts in the release bundle each time a new version is created. We can define the indexing process for a release bundle using its name or by creating a name pattern. Once the indexing for our release bundle is defined, we can go back to our release bundle. Here we can view all release bundles managed by JFrog distribution in one place. We can open the release bundle we just created and sign it. Signing a release bundle finalizes the process. It sets the release bundle status to signed, and the release bundle can no longer be edited. In addition, distribution will trigger the source artifactory to clone the contents of the signed release bundle into an isolated release bundles repository. 
The distribution to edge nodes can be automatically blocked in case X-ray scanning identifies any issues related to security or license. After X-ray completes indexing the release bundle, all information about violations, security and license compliance is displayed as part of the release bundle properties. We can see that there are no violations or security breaches in the content of this release bundle. Now let's take a look at the compliance analysis. X-Ray also allows execution of compliance analysis by showing the license types used by the different components. You can also manually trigger this scan for violations directly from the release bundle. Our release bundle version is created and signed. X-Ray indexing results are not violating any policies, so we're ready to distribute. We'll now distribute our release bundle to our Artifactory edge nodes. The tracking of the distribution process is displayed on the distribution tracking pane. We need to select the destinations from the list of available destinations. We can monitor the progress of our distribution process for each destination, showing the status of the distribution and progress of the files being copied. Now that we've distributed our release bundle to our edge nodes, let's open one of our edge nodes to see our release. An Artifactory edge node is an immutable, read-only Artifactory instance. It supports the distribution process by bringing the release bundle that's being distributed closer to its end users and consumers, essentially making it more accessible. We can see all release bundles received by this Artifactory Edge in the Receive tab in the Release Bundles page. Here we can see the Docker image and Helm chart that we just distributed. Using the Artifactory Edge REST API calls, we can retrieve the distributed bundles and drill down to each bundle to view its contents. To support continuous integration and deployment, JFrog distribution actions are available via REST API. All actions that we just walked through are available also via API calls. JFrog CLI version 1.35.1 .1 also supports JFrog distribution version 2 and higher. You can create, update, distribute, and delete release bundles using JFrog CLI. It provides an additional level of abstraction to simplify embedding distribution into your current ecosystem. For more information, please refer to the JFrog Wiki for distribution REST API and JFrog CLI. This concludes our screencast. The JFrog platform gives you an end-to-end -end system to control the flow of your binaries from build to production and provides you with end-to-end -end management of your software deployment. Visit the JFrog website at jfrog.com to learn more and start your free trial today. Thanks for watching.